is here. Okay, I'm coming. Hello, good morning. Welcome to Anna Dialogue Audiology Center. Hmm. I see that you may have some problems, some issues with your hearing. Okay, so today we will try to see if this is true. We will try to understand where your hearing capabilities go all the way up to which frequency. Let's discover that. Let's get to it. Okay guys, so are you ready for this? Today we're gonna do a hearing test. Oh yes. I'm gonna reproduce seven different frequencies going from 6,000 Hertz all the way up to 18,000 Hertz. And most of us are probably gonna stop halfway. Uh, in contrast with what a lot of people do on YouTube, we're gonna do it the right way, like you would do in a professional studio. That means that I'm gonna send the signal, a pure sine wave at minus 10 dB, once on the left or right, and the, and, and the other signal is gonna be again on the left or right. You're not, you're not gonna know which side. You're gonna have to tell me. So for each tone, please stop the video and write down where you think the sound was coming from. Obviously, if you're using a pair of headphones, that would greatly help. Actually, Without headphones, it's very difficult, almost impossible, especially for the higher frequencies. So pause the video and go and get your headphones or earphones, no earbuds, no problem with that. Okay, so why are we doing this? Well, first of all, I wanna make something clear. Uh, something I've discussed in many videos, mainly I would like to signal this one, here's a link, where um, always people are telling me, uh, it's, it's useless to talk about high definition, we're never gonna reach those high frequencies the human ear cannot hear those higher frequencies, especially when we're getting old. And that's perfectly true. That is true. I do agree with that. What I don't agree, and psychoacoustics does have demonstrated, is that the higher frequencies, even if you can't hear them, do have an effect on the rest of the frequencies, creating new harmonics. And there's also a pressure, a, a, a modulation of the frequencies and a a physical pressure on your ears, on your body, that, that makes you perceive music more like in reality. That's why it is useful to have those frequencies, upper frequencies mainly. We're gonna focus on the upper frequencies, which are the ones more difficult to hear. Uh, because when we have the whole spectrum, or at least a big part of the spectrum, not cutting it off at uh, 20 uh, kilohertz, which it is obviously a lot, that will give us a better experience in our listening uh, environment and listening process. Okay, guys, that is paramount. And I know a lot of people do not believe in this, but please take a look at that video, take a look at that, those articles, don't take my word for it, go, go out and about, because I know there is this common knowledge that it's useless. Unfortunately, though, in reality, we have all those frequencies, even if we can't hear them, and mixed together on our body, as a physical pressure, when they're intermingled between them, they create new frequencies, harmonics, etc., which all contribute to create, a, obviously, a real, true sound, high fidelity. That's why we need them. So today, just to have fun, we're gonna try to seat a test where your hearing capabilities can go all the way up to. Ready? Let's get to it. Okay, guys, so, First tone, 6,000 hertz. Okay, so let's go now to 8,000 hertz. Okay, now 10,000 hertz.
Okay, let's go up now to 12,000 hertz. Okay, now, things are going to start to get difficult here. 14,000 hertz. Ooh, did you hear that? That's difficult. Okay, let's go up. Maybe you're very young. I don't know. Let's go. Let's proceed. 16,000 hertz. I bet most of you did not hear anything there. Any, in any case, we're going to go another step forward because maybe some of you can. So you never know. 18,000 hertz. Okay, guys, I want to stop here even because it's, it hurts your ears at a certain point. So, um... I hope that someone reached all the way through that and you have guessed all the single tones. So uh, I'm going to write them down in the video description, the exact set, the exact um, sequence, left, right, right, left, etc., etc., okay? Based on each test tone that I sent, the seven test tones that I just sent through the video. Um. Obviously, these are going to be a little compressed, but the, the sine wave will get through. So we, we, you can use that. You don't have to download anything this time. So please leave your, in your comments how far you reached, the, 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 how, how many you've guessed, how many tones you've guessed, before even checking the final results. So that's a little more fun, I think. So we can see uh, below who understand, who guessed what. I think that's something interesting. And please, if you want, declare your age because that's also something important to understand what's happening. Okay, guys, thank you again for watching, and remember, music is born analog. Okay, bring the next one. Hello, goodbye, sir. Goodbye.